Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be making schichtvlees. That's how the German people call it. It's basically a load of pork in a Dutch oven. Let's get started. I started up a chimney full of briquettes and the next step is preparing our meat. So these are basically pork shoulders and uh, you want them without the bone because now I got to take off the bone and uh, you can order a pork neck, slice it up, that will work great. We got the bones taken out and I'm taking this barbecue rub and this is, this is a Let's Q chicken barbecue rub, but you can use any pork rub that you like. I like this chicken barbecue rub on my pork because there's a lot of sweetness in there. I'll put the link in the video description to uh, where you can make your own barbecue rub if you want to. Flip it around, the same for the other side. There we go. And here I have over a kilogram of peeled onions. And we're gonna slice these up. Don't slice them too thin. About half a centimeter, quarter inch. So our slices of pork are all wrapped up. Our onions are sliced and we have some bacon here. Now it's time to get out our Dutch oven and put this into it. The first thing that we're going to do is layer some bacon on the bottom of the Dutch oven. And the bacon is just there to protect the meat from burning. And of course, add a little bit of flavor. Now we're going to start with putting a little bit of meat to the side of the pan. And then we're gonna make layers of onion and meat. Our delicious pork. You guys can see where I'm going with this, right? This is going to be a very delicious treat. And between every layer of pork, we put a layer of onion. So this is, uh, for size wise, this is uh, a size 10 Dutch oven and there's two kilograms of pork meat in here. To add a little bit of extra flavor, I'm gonna put on barbecue sauce and to protect all of that, we're going to layer it with bacon again. Now, if that's not a thing of beauty, I don't know what is. <laughs> it just makes me smile. This is pork heaven, man. That's it, on goes the lid. Our briquettes are finished, so uh, ready to go on. So let's put the Dutch oven to work, right? So get a few of these briquettes, place them on the bottom. And we'll put our Dutch oven on top of that. And then more briquettes on the lid. It's been almost four hours and I'm dying to see how our sheath flies turned out. So we're gonna take a look. Oh, that looks great. Fantastic. And of course we need to know if she will fall apart on us. Oh yeah, look at that. Trying to lift it up, it just falls apart. That's absolutely perfect. That's what we're looking for. Now, we're not finishing here. I got this nice loaf of bread and we're gonna take off the top. There we go. Then I'm gonna pull out all the bread that's inside. We created this beautiful bowl and now we're gonna stuff it with all our meat. But first, we're just gonna move this meat around and let it all mush up. So it will absorb all that sauce that we created, the fat that ran it down, barbecue spices, everything. And look at the consistency, it just all blended together. Quick taste test, of course. This is officially the best thing out of Germany, for sure, for sure. So we're going to stuff our bread with it. And when it's halfway filled up, just gonna stop, add a good amount of grated cheese. I like to use some younger cheese, which will help with the melt. Then more meat on top. That should do the trick. Now we're placing our cap back on. 
There we go. And we're done. Time to slice it open. And one, two, three. Wow. Look at that. That is gorgeous. That is some good food, right? Oh man, this is really good. You know, I took a, a really sweet barbecue sauce and a sweet barbecue rub, and that worked really well with the pork. Fantastic. These flavors are screaming barbecue. And in a bun like this, what more can you wish for? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I sure did. See you guys next time. Cheers.